everybody, it's Frozen with Outdoor Adventures and thanks for joining me. As you can probably tell, it's raining. Quite hard, actually. I've had a lot of requests on the channel to make a video showing how I set up in the rain. Well, it's raining right now, so let's get into it. So the primary thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your tarp up first. I keep my tarp on the outside of my pack in the mesh pocket. On the inside of the pack, everything I wanna keep dry is enclosed in a nylo flume pack liner. Now you can get these on lightsmith.com. They're about, I wanna say $1.50 each. They even make a three pack, it's really nice. Uh, or you can just use a, you know, a trash compactor bag or a heavy duty black garbage bag, that also works. But the whole point of this is to keep the stuff you want dry inside of a pack liner. We're not so much worried about the outside of the pack as we are with the contents that's inside. So let's get the tarp set up first. We're gonna pull that out right now. And we're just gonna, I like to just place my pack next to a tree. Usually there's gonna be leaves on the tree and that will suffice. So we're gonna get the tarp out. Now I like to pitch it about eye height, a little bit higher. And that'll give us plenty of room to work with here. Okay, now that the tarp is up, I always keep them in some mesh snakeskins. It allows for quick and easy access and deployment when you're in a rush situation like this and you just wanna get dry. Okay, so we're gonna make sure it's all nice and tight on the ridge line. And spread it out. From here, what I like to do is I like to put my pack underneath the tarp to start getting it dry. Now right now the ground is a little wet, so it's kind of a moot point, but I'll show you a way to avoid that. And another thing that's on the outside mesh pocket are my tent stakes and guy lines. My guy lines are pre-attached, so all you basically have to do is take them all out and hook them onto the tarp. All right, right now I'm just getting the back of the tarp situated. All right, now you can see the tarp is completely up. We now have a dry spot to work with. So the next step I'm gonna do is get my hammock up. Well, this is what I was talking about, the pack liner right here, this nylon flume bag. Everything in here is still completely dry. You know, even if water gets into the pack, the nylon flume bag is another waterproof protector for everything that you want to keep dry. If you have pullouts on your hammock like I do, you can now take those out, put them down to our tent stake.
and then we're pretty much good to go. Now from here, you can then attach your underquilt and make final adjustments. You can raise or lower your tarp. I just happen to get pretty much the perfect tarp height right here. At this point, I'll take my rain kilt off and I will establish an area that I can put under my tarp so I can keep my pack dry. So that's pretty much it. That's how I do it. And the takedown for this is basically the opposite of what I just did. I will take down the hammock first, pack that all up, get the quilts together, pack them up. And then the last thing I'll do is pack the tarp up and put the tent stakes back in my mesh pocket to allow them to dry again. Okay, so another question I get asked is collecting rainwater on a tarp. Okay, so you can see that the water is actually running down the tarp and it's going down to my guy line. So if I had a water bottle with me, and I don't think, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, you can tie a half hitch here, just like that. So you guys can see the amount of water that's just running down this line right now, or hopefully you can at least. So what I do is I actually put my Evernew bag that I use for filtering, it's a two liter bag, and I just stick it right here, make sure the bottom's open, make sure it's flat, and I just collect rainwater until the storm passes. So that's a way to get water if you're low when you get to camp. So everybody, I hope you found that useful. Hopefully I answered somebody's questions on how to do that without getting completely soaked. I don't know, it's kind of nice out here. I might stay out for a little bit, take a little nap. I love the sound of rain on my tarp, but that's how I do it while staying dry, which is not what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna get back in. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the trail.